please stand for the invocation. Welcome everyone to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2021. Now at this time, I'd ask if you would please bow your heads for a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I wanna thank you for today. I pray that you would be with my classmates and I as we leave high school and start this next chapter of our lives. I pray that we would follow the path that you have planned out for us. Help us to trust you each step of the way and to lean on you when we are filled with uncertainty. I pray that you would be with us through the struggles and that we would use those opportunities to draw closer to you. Lord, help us to be confident in our decisions as we leave high school and move on to whatever our lives hold. I also wanna thank you, Lord, for all the memories and friendships that you've allowed us to make at Highland. Lord, I ask that you would help us to always turn to you for guidance and live lives that are on fire for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Please be seated. I am honored to welcome you all to the class of 2021 graduation ceremony. To the members of the board, teachers, staff, family, and friends, thank you for all of your support during our time here. We've spent plenty of full days here at Highland, except for Mills. <laughs> and I'd like to recognize my classmates. We've reached a milestone in our lives and I'm glad to share with this group of people. I'm excited to see where our paths will lead us and looking forward to where each of us will go in the coming years. Congratulations, everyone, and thank you.
First, I'd like to thank everybody for coming to our graduation today. And to my fellow classmates, it looks like we finally made it to the end. I'd be lying if I said I haven't been eager for this day for a really long time. Not necessarily eager to get out of school and leave, but eager to open that new door to a new chapter in my life. But I'd also be lying if I said that it doesn't feel quite real yet. The last six years of my life have been spent with all of you. We've all grown up literally right before each other's eyes, and just like that, it's over. My whole life has been intertwined with Highland, and all of a sudden, senior year has come to a close. In a year where everything was a maybe, a we'll see, or a we're hopeful that, and fill in the blank, it can be easy to remember the disappointment and frustration that this last year has brought all of us. I know I thought early on that my senior year was going to be the most anticlimactic experience in my life this far. However, as I reflected on this year over the last few weeks, I've realized that this year and my entire career at Highland has given me more than I could have ever anticipated. You see, I realized that although events and activities were canceled or just simply postponed, those were never the most important and cherished memories I would make here at Highland. When I think back, I remember laughing in Hammy's class until my stomach hurt. I remember all the missed half-court shots I watched in the gym waiting to go to lunch. And I remember all the small, seemingly insignificant moments I shared in the classroom with my peers. And suddenly, it was clear. My most cherished memories were never the ones I remember the most, or even had the most documentation of, but the feelings and emotions that I tied to this school and this class. This year, we adapted. We found new ways to have fun, new ways to stay positive, and new ways to see the good in a rather unideal situation. And in a unique way, the adversity is what made finishing this school year in particular that much more satisfying. Sean Anker, an author known for his advocacy of positive psychology, said it best when he said that the most successful people see adversity not as a stumbling block, but as a stepping stone to greatness. I believe that this year was a great example of how we have a choice to give up or to take that one step towards greatness. I believe that adversity and the perseverance that my classmates and I have shown throughout our last year here at Highland will serve us well in the years to come. I don't know what the future holds for all of us, but frankly, I don't want to know. What I do know is that this class, the class of 2021, is equipped to handle whatever it is the real world is going to throw at us. We have learned that although it isn't always easy, comfortable, or fun, working hard to achieve a goal is always worth it. And I don't know about any of you guys, but I'm feeling pretty accomplished right now. As we enter this new season of our lives and look to the future, I feel it is important to remember what this last year has meant to every one of us. It has been made clear that we are never guaranteed anything and should never take anything for granted. I think we should take life day by day with our goals and aspirations in the passenger seat and not our driver's seat. Getting caught up in the future we desire is a great motivator, but it can also distract us from our present. I encourage all of you to enjoy the journey. As we've learned this year, no one knows what tomorrow will bring. So with that said, check up on your friends, compliment a stranger, hug your mom today when she gets all emotional about her baby growing up too fast, and live every moment as if it is a last, because only then that we truly appreciate it. And along this new journey, when adversity blocks your path, don't turn around. Take that one step, simply just one step, towards greatness. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for attending Highlands Graduation Ceremony for the Class of 2021. I think I can speak for my classmates by saying we are grateful that you could be here with us today in celebration of this important occasion. With everything that's going, what's happening, it's nice to also be able to celebrate and focus on the good things happening as well. This celebration couldn't have happened without the help of the teachers, staff, family, and friends we have here today. And I want to th say thank you for that, not just for helping us these last two years, but helping us through high school in preparation for our future. I would like to continue to talk on behalf of my fellow graduates when I say an especially big thank you to the people from Highland. Thank you, for this, thank you to the staff and administration who worked so hard behind the scenes in order for us to be able to attend such a supportive environment these last few years. Us graduates may not always think about it, but it wouldn't take long to notice your absence. Of course, I also want to thank you wonderful teachers as well. Not only did you teach us and prepare us for our futures, you were also our friends at times. Someone to help kill some time in between classes as well as giving some good advice at times too. Your presence in our high school years have been noticed and very much appreciated, and your hard work and dedication has played a key role in my classmates and I's successes these last four years. Speaking of which, we've had some big milestones these last few years, but I'm trying to focus on some of the senior milestones and accomplishments we've had as a class. 
Despite not knowing when we'd be back from online education, we still made the most of it. First, I'd like to congratulate the sports teams, performing arts groups, and other extracurricular teams on their successes and work they put into respecting, representing Highland wherever they went. With a special congratulations to the Lady Hawks for winning at state. Way to represent Highland wherever you went, showing what it meant to be a hawk. Another big event was the first annual Drive Your Tractor to School Day in Car Show. Hopefully Mr. Zerger didn't hurt himself too much on that pedal tractor, and let's hope the pedal tractor survived too. Hopefully this was the start of something that can last for a while. Of course, let's also not forget about the senior prom and having the opportunity to make those memories after looking forward to it for many years. That combined with after prom was a great opportunity to have fun together one last time as a class before our journey together ends. I can go on and on about important memories from our senior year, but this past year was, has been memorable enough in and, of its, in and of itself. Speaking of all the things that has happened during just our senior year, I'd like to think that there's something you can take from Highland after today. Hopefully, after all, you have something positive that'll stick with you after we leave Highland. For my fellow college-bound seniors, there could be a teacher or mentor that has helped you prepare for the next level of schooling, laying the foundation for your future. For my fellow classmates entering into the workforce, you may not know how to classify bugs for bio, but there's still things you can take from Highland. It could be a friend, memory, experience, or something else. But one thing we can all take from Highland is our adaptability. You've heard it all before about online school, but it did take extra effort from everyone to make it successful. From that experience, I hope we have been able to adapt and face new challenges we may face in our lives. I was trying to think of a famous quote I could use that pertains to this idea of adapting and overcoming obstacles, all the while being simple and easy to remember. In the end, I found out that we just have to keep swimming, according to Dory. Through quarantine plans changed so many times, not just for us, but for the world in general, that it taught, that no matter, taught us no matter what happened, we just need to keep moving forward. We did keep moving forward and look to the, where that led us to right here and now. On the other hand, some of you seniors may be just happy it's over and that you're done with school. I was talking with a friend about that and he suggested the quote, free at last, free at last, thank God almighty, I'm free at last, but I'm okay. But that's up to you which one you like. No matter what viewpoint you have on high school, it was an important part of our lives and it's coming to an end. Going out of here today, fellow graduates, don't forget what it was to be a Highland Hawk, hardworking, determined, adaptive, and more. And let's not forget to just keep swimming. Thank you.
Thank you, Varsity Singers and Mr. Looney. That was, that was fantastic. I would also like to welcome everyone and thank you for being here today to celebrate a very important and meaningful day in the lives of our graduates. On behalf of the East Holmes Board of Education, administration, staff, I would like to congratulate the Highland Class of 2021. I would now like to take a moment to recognize the following people for their efforts in creating and conducting today's ceremony and parade. Mrs. Ashley Cobb, Mr. Zach Koblenz, Mr. Terry Byland, Mr. John Schleball, Mrs. Don Hummel, Mrs. Rita Klein, Mr. Louis Yoder, Mr. Wes Candle, Mr. Bill Blizzard, Mr. Wayne Miller, Mr. Bo Blizzard, Highland student Maddie Miller, and Highland student Grace Slayball. We give them a round of applause. I would also like to take a moment and recognize those who are on the stage with me. If you would please stand as I call your name. Mr. Thurman Mullet, member of the East Holmes Board of Education. Mr. Steve Miller, member of the East Holmes Board of Education. Mr. Eric Bune, Superintendent of East Holmes Local Schools. Mr. Scott Pringle, Assistant Principal of Highland High School and Middle School. And also Mr. Noah Boyd, Guidance Counselor of Highland High School and Middle School. All right, now to our seniors. Um, congratulations, on, congratulations on making it to this day. Uh, your high school graduation. You, along with your family and friends, should be very proud of all that you achieved over the course of your high school career. In a few moments, you'll be receiving your high school diploma, and be sure to enjoy that moment, because you earned it, and it's gonna go quick. You know, with every graduating class, our staff learns something new, takes something away, or has a fond memory of the students. Throughout your high school career, I believe you've all exemplified a number of traits and characteristics that are admirable. I've tried to pick four that I feel best represent you, the class of 2021. I'm gonna encourage you to continue to do these things and you'll experience nothing but success in wherever life takes you. Number one, continue to show up. As a class, you are here to learn and lead our school. Continue to show up in the future because so much can be achieved if you are simply where you should be. Continue to think creatively. As a class, and I think this is, this is very true, as a class, you found different ways to have fun, stay motivated, and accomplish your goals. Always remain adaptable and resourceful and be willing to find a way. Continue to do the work. This class understood the importance and role of hard work. Continue to view all work as an opportunity and not a chore. And I think most importantly, continue to be kind. This class was kind, helpful, and considerate. Continue to treat others with respect and understanding. Because in the end, all we have are our relationships. And those, above everything else, should be valued the most. Class of 2021, I encourage you to continue to do these things. And you'll experience nothing but success, joy, and happiness. Seniors, you should be very proud of yourself and your classmates for all you've accomplished in making it to this day. Thank you for all you have done for our school and community. We wish you nothing but the best and are excited to see what the future has in store to hold in each, each and every one of you. It is now my privilege to invite our school superintendent, Mr. Eric Yoon, to lead us in the roll call of the Highland High School class of 2021. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sprang. I want to also thank Jay and uh, Bryn for your words of wisdom and encouragement. Job well done uh, in both of your talks there. 
Seniors, as I look out into the audience here uh, this afternoon, I see many proud and smiling faces, and these are the people that have walked with you, supported you, nurtured you, and cheered you on for the last 18 years. Parents, grandparents, aunts and uncles, and friends, on behalf of the class of seniors, I want to say thank you for your support. Seniors, soon to be graduates, last week uh, up at Mount Hope, Jerry Schleyball was, was talking at graduation, and he reminded us of the familiar Robert Frost poem, The Road Not Taken, that I think many of uh, everybody is familiar with. And really, it's a poem about choices. You know, we all have choices on a daily basis. We have choices, you will have choices in the future, many easy and trivial, and others tough with positive and negative consequences. It's in facing those challenges, and it's our history that I know teaches me, and I think teaches all of us, that doing things together, caring for each other, making the best decisions, makes all the difference. Starting now, seniors, our community needs you. You are it. You are our future of our community. Take the lessons that you've learned from your family, your church, school, and with that, make good decisions that will work for you and bless future generations. Again, on behalf of the Board of Education, I want to congratulate you. At East Holmes, we make every effort to make the school experience one that joins with family and community to prepare you for both career and citizenship. As of now, I welcome you into the adult community of decision makers. God bless you and all of us together. With the first row, please prepare to receive your diplomas. Olivia Grace Anderson. Caleb Lee Beachy. Jacob J. Beachy. Caleb Matthew Brown. Jalice McColl Clark. Brayley Xiaoming Coyle. Joshua Ruben Gingrich. Morgan Danae Gingrich. Ashley Laureen Hirschberger. Austin Cordell Hirschberger. Austin William Hirschberger. Heidi Marie Hirschberger. Kara Rose Hirschberger. Kylie Blaine Horn. Jared Dean Hosteller. Bella Joy Immel. Austin J. Jones. Anthony John Candle. Gracie Joy Kurtz. Casey Alexander Lau. 
Colin Matthew Lau. Jade Nicole Mast. Samantha Inez Mast. Tyler Benjamin Mast. Colin Grant Miller. Gabriel Benjamin Lewis Miller. Isaiah David Miller. Jacqueline Ruth Miller. Jaywan Patrick Miller. Jordan Reese Miller. Caleb David Miller. Kelsey Diane Miller. Landon Andrew Miller. Ryan Andrew Miller. Sophia Rochelle Miller. Sophie Elizabeth Miller. Zoe Elizabeth Miller. Bryn Olivia Mullet. Kendall Jared Mullet. Sarah Catherine Mullet. Cindy Ann Nisley. Joshua Aaron Edward Raber. Christopher J. Schlebaugh. Gabrielle Marie Schlebaugh. John Brandon Schlebaugh. Reese Anthony Schlebaugh. Sarah Ashley Schlebaugh. William Henry Paul Schlebaugh. Austin Tyrell Schmucker. Taggart Allen Schull. Isaac Michael Slayball. Hunter Daniel Summers. Kelsey Brianna Swihart. Alejandro Raul Tapia. Daisy Ann Troyer. Derek Lynn Troyer. Emily Diane Troyer. Keith Allen Troyer. Kylie Joe Troyer. Trey Lamar Troyer. Gabriel Rene Ventura. Thank you. 
Allie Nicole Weaver. Michael David Wood. Andrew Jacoby Yoder. Kyra Brooke Yoder. Macy Elizabeth Yoder. Michaela Sue Yoder. Morgan Don Yoder. Sasha Lane Yoder. Skylar Blaine Yoder. Would we join me in congratulating the class of 21? Please stand for the benediction prayer. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to be here today and celebrate everyone in the class of 2021. I pray that you would give us all the courage to continue on in this new chapter of our lives, using the gifts you have given us to honor you. Bless everyone as they leave this place. In your name I pray, amen. ceremony for the class of 2021. We are uh, 
can now go out and receive your graduates and take pictures. Our plan is to start the parade in about 40 minutes, so we'll be leaving here with the graduates about 3.45, 3.50. So please go out and take pictures, enjoy the moment, and then we'll see you.